Hey kids, I'm back here. Uh, you were just hit me while I was sitting here that when I go to put another paddle wheel on that side, the easiest way to raise and build this up would be to take my blast furnace and put it on top of it. At least there's something there instead of empty space. That's an idea. But I got other things I want to do today. So first off, <coughs> did a little cosmetic work on my move. Hello. It's a great way to start up. A little cosmetic work over here. Just bone meal around. You saw a cake. I wanted this to look like a picnic basket. I don't quite think I succeeded. It looks more like a Tupperware container. That's a uh, a sugar cane storage block <coughs> from the condensed block thing. And it's the closest thing I could find to a picnic basket. I think if uh, well, I'm never gonna. Um, I'm never going to get the hay block, unfortunately. That would really work. Because it would have the, the up and down texture and the bands on it. Give myself some benches. Look at your I think what I really need is to go and steal a couple of squirrels. That'll make this look really nice. I, uh... Oop, uh... Yeah. We're, uh... We're making a lot of honey, and we're making a lot of seed oil, which uh, <coughs> isn't translating into quite that many frames because uh, I keep needing to drag more wood over here. So right now, all of my timber goes into this setup here with the uh, the coal blocks over to the boiler. This is keeping up, though. I thought about replacing these with. Uh, target gates, but yeah, it works. I'm still gonna think of what else I want to do with this space, though. However, uh, next subject is the bee boat is as done as it's gonna get. I think. Stuck a uh, stuck an aviary here. This is for fast breeding stuff. I fill these with uh, chocolate frames. If you want to mutate something, this kills a bee in about I don't know, five minutes. <laughs> it's great for rapid mutation. Still got to clean the deck off. I'd hope to be able to chew through all of these junk bees, but uh, I'm not going through BNA as thought as fast as I thought I would. I'm looking up and getting all the stuff I want. Of course, I also got impatient to build an extra synthesizer, extra purifier, <coughs> charging. <laughs> what I did is I, I took all of these out and then put them back in an order that I liked, and it took uh, like a half an hour, an hour or more for all of my redstone batteries to fill back up again. <laughs> That's a bit of a mistake. Uh, over here, clean this up. We used to have the emerald pipe and all this. We're just bringing the honey straight in from the tank. Seed oil straight in from the tank. Making alveary blocks. I don't know how many more I'm going to make. You know, kind of. I kind of stuck for a room. I know if I want to make some that require different conditions, then I'll have to build something. And then do it off site. Maybe in the nether. I don't know. Yeah, all them are okay. Which is getting a little cluttered, but I'm okay with that. I expected that. Some some controls to the wheel. I still I if yeah <laughs> please tell someone told me you got a better idea. Down here all our alveary blocks are done. Right now I'm running I'm running three of these. Because I needed a lot of iron because the build I want to start today at, oh yeah, and uh, shove that over better. I was getting a bit of congestion here, so I put in an extra centrifuge. <coughs> it's all working great. I do need to, at some point, uh, start in with the uh, interdimensional barrel upgrades, because you can only go through so much silk, I only need so much rubber, I'm um, kind of topping on an alveary blocks. 
you know. Like, I want to have a lot of this stuff when I need it. <clears throat> I just don't want to have to move it back and forth and faff about with it. This here got changed a little bit because of upstairs. The, uh... Wow, I can really see it anymore. I think the... Where's that? Tesseract. I think it's over here somewhere now. Let's see. Can I see it? No, nope, I got covered completely. Oh, there it is. I had to move it over too because of the work with the fabricator. So it gave me an opportunity to do a bit more with the ceiling. I went and found Bob a friend. He was one of the last guys left in a village. Uh, his trades suck too. I've tried to get the guys with the proven frames, but I'm just not I'm not finding them. And in the the current thing of extra bees, which I'm gonna have to see if I can get without having to update everything else. That'd be kind of neat. Because there's a couple other... They had a bunch more bees. I don't know what any of them do yet. <coughs> because we haven't had a stable server pack yet. And even then, it takes a long time to build all that stuff. So, today's project is... So, you see that pile of dirt, uh, stone out there, right? That's an oil geyser. And while I don't need the, uh... Let me land here for a sec, so I can go faster. Well, I don't need the oil. I don't, I have, I have all the power I need right now. I need a project. So we're going to build an oil platform. This is going to take a long time. Uh, I was Matt faffing about in creative with ideas. And I come up with what I, th what I like a lot now. But the uh, the four big pillars going to come out. You see they're marked down there with uh, jack o' lanterns. I just covered it. You can't see them. And I got all the materials over here. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. It's going to be a functional refinery. Even though uh, we're really not going to use any of it, I just want all the parts here so it'll look cool. And then down here. On one of these sides, there we are. It is all the concrete I'm gonna need. This stuff isn't cheap. It takes a lot of rebar. Fortunately, the setup I got gives me a lot of iron, which is good. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna have to remember how I did all this stuff, because when it comes to uh, the server reset, I'm gonna be using a lot of that with what I want to do. I think I mentioned this already. I said I want to build a lot of rails. And I'm talking like a transcontinental railway. What bit is I, I kind of came up with that idea after I started this one. <laughs> the the, uh, the ocean-based stuff. But that's okay. Because if I did it in a single-player world, I really wouldn't have anywhere to go now, would I? What kind of bite? I'd have all this rail laid out, and where would it go? Go to stuff I could just walk to. But if I do it on a server, then other people can use it. And that's what I like. I like building stuff that other people use. We get some use out of. Now i got to build four of these great big pilings. And rather than bore you to tears, I think it's stuck listening to me cough. I'm going to build these all up, and I'll get right back to you. Okay. Do a lot more concrete than I thought I was going to do on that. Because I still have more concrete to go yet. But, cosmetic purposes... <coughs> right, I need a bunch of these. I'm going to have to go back and make more concrete. Fortunate. I think it would be kind of cool... Well, cool for someone like me with just wants to build stupid stuff. It would be that uh, if you had to build forms for your concrete and then pour it like out of a big container. That would be really cool. Are we three high here? 
you know, like you build a bunch of forms, you pour your concrete into it, let it kind of dry like the uh, construction foam, and uh, I then get your forms back. That'd be kind of neat. You can build blocks like cement mixers and things. Or uh, a frame out of rebar. Since you got to make rebar anyway to make concrete, why not have it where you uh, you have to build a frame out of rebar and then, you know, apply concrete to the rebar. I think it'd be interesting. It's another fun step. I'm going to do uh, the other two like these. <clears throat> yeah, maybe a little higher. We'll see how long my concrete lasts. All right, we have up to five high. One block of concrete left. I made far too many concrete walls. That's okay, because I'll use them somewhere. I'm sure of that. The next part is to lay out some of the structure for the deck. For that, scaffolding and iron blocks. Now, I had someone tell me that they thought the B boat, that was a loud steak, the B boat looked um, kind of monochromatic. That's the case, they're really not going to like the way this is going to look. All the uh, metallic textures, literally all, come up here, come on. all the metallic textures are grays. All the metal posts have a gray color to them. Iron can't get away from. I'm going to throw in some steel here and there, just to vary my grays. <laughs> Bunch of yellow posts. Safety rails are always yellow. Otherwise, how would Big McLarge Huge know not to fall over them? <clears throat> Got all of these down. You can wonder why on earth would I start with iron scaffold? Well, whoop. because if I want this stuff to pop out one, I have to have a scaffold in there. Right, so if I want to run these guys out, I have to have scaffolding for them to connect to. <coughs> yep, get back up here. No, don't do that. Stop that. Not yet. Our other problem is that these guys can't connect to the sides, just to the ends of an extended scaffold. And then you can see after a while you can't put anything on them anymore, right? So I can try to get it here. I can't put anything there. But we can do this. And now that I think about it, I built something specifically for this job and I didn't use it. It took me an afternoon to make. And all the copper and tin in the world. And a bunch of iridium plates. water cells. And if you guessed this dang thing, you're right. Because I need to be able to hover. And I'm so used to flying around with my jetpack that, uh... <coughs> so used to flying around with my jetpack that I now have to get used to not being able to run and jump anymore. was I before I was so rudely interrupted. Right. So that's as far as users go. Then you can't connect anything to them. You can't connect scaffolding to the side of the block. You can only connect to the top. So we're gonna flesh out some supports and then keep going. And we'll run these out all the way. No, stop that. Right, so again, can't go any further. I drop down, put in a support. What's going to happen is that we're also going to use these to branch out in these directions, and in a ways out in this direction. Because, if I, I stop placing my blocks properly, 
this thing's going to need to extend out that way, <coughs> as well as providing support for the inside. Now, the base of this thing is actually a paltry 25 by 25. They might seem big. The B boat is 50 from one end to the other, but it's only like uh, 11 or so wide, right? So this guy is going to need to extend a huge base all the way around this. Big box, going to meet up in the middle, some supports out the side, and then we'll start placing a bunch of the deck on. And I'll see you in a moment, once I get done placing down enough blocks to get to the next step. Okay, one little last join up here. Doot. Come over. <coughs> Throw a torch down. I am playing this in survival. So there's the base <coughs> for our a drilling rig. It's pretty big, don't it? Hmm. Now it's big now. Where do I get done putting the rest of it on? So, to put some... Can't put... Uh, oh, I should name it concrete. <coughs> i got to bring this guy up high enough that I can put some iron blocks and some scaffold on him. Because... Uh, well, this is going to be the uh, it's the casing for our uh, well bore. You can't exactly have iron scaffold on the edge of a pressurized well bore. Bad things would happen. A lot of bad things. Which means I'll have to go make some concrete. Which means I'll have to make some more rebar. And <coughs> to give you an idea what I'm going to do here, it's kind of like that. Now this guy, I'd like to leave... Actually, that's going to stay a scaffold. Put a brace under him. Just like that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to keep bringing these out. We're going to wind up with a big old boring grid under here. Which we kind of have to need, because otherwise there's nothing to hold anything up. So I'm going to go throw some rebar into my uh, rolling machine, and I'll be right back. Okay, got some... a couple of stacks of concrete. Put more iron out of my furnace. Take a moment to charge this thing up. That's going to take a while. You got into a million? Here. Give me your powers. Keep me happy for a while. Oh, I forgot I had that in there. Hmm. Where are we? 64? Yeah, that'll do us for a while. Turn that on. <coughs> Back out here. Let's bring our well bore up to the right height. This wasn't a very big geyser, but that's okay. I think it gets us to the right height, eh? I figure. Yep, good height. Put down some of these. And some of these. So I can scaffold to them. And I'm just going to keep bringing everything out. This guy here, we want to have to stop like that. So we're going to put a connector under him. Like so. Like that. We can bring these out like this. I'll connect this to our central structure. The, well, the well bore isn't supposed to... This isn't supposed to be a load bearing structure. But then again, we are playing a game where uh, bees make uranium. And you can carry an inventory full of giant blocks of lead. Sorry, where you can take chainmail apart and get fire. And then hold fire. So while we would like some realism in our game, 
we have to understand that there's some things we can get away with, so we're going to get away with them. The one thing we can't get away with having some spawn here is not going to light this nonsense back up again. <coughs> okay, I'm going to lay out some more grid, and I'll see you in a minute. Alright, there's our grid, at least the interior one. We're all nicely secured everywhere. This is the center point. We want to have a bit more scaffolding here. As much as this is stuff that's going to get covered up. Uh, I'm out of scaffolding. That. I want this thing to look interesting from all sides. Even if I'm probably the only one that's ever going to see it. I just want it to be there. Extend these out a bit. Like I said, this is all going to get covered up. But when it's all done, we can give it a flyby and then sing around underneath and get a look at it all. One thing I toyed with when I did this was that this rig's going to need a crew, and I'm thinking that if I grab my two apiarists... Oh, sorry about that. I'm going to cough and look badly. I don't know why. I think it's got, uh... I wanted to say we got some leftover snow mold on the lawn. Because we get that up here. But we've had a couple of rainstorms, so it shouldn't be happening. And the last I checked, I wasn't allergic to anything. Uh, so... <clears throat> yeah. Is that all of them? Da, 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 da. Yep. And these guys here, we're going to run out to max length. That. Uh, I don't play around much in creative, which is why I really, really bad with uh, trying to fly. <coughs> I think I might need to make more scaffold. One thing that kept this thing... I would, I would have started this an episode or so ago, but... Uh, the sheer amount of iron... that I go through... <laughs> kind of... makes things take a long time. I need an awful lot of AFK time just to let resources build up. I've already said I don't want a quarry. Uh, because A, I don't know how to write a miscraft age to go and quarry out. And personally, I feel that's kind of... I don't know. If I was running a server and someone had one, I would take advantage of it once or twice. And then I would probably just build what I already have. Right? I got a UU matter. I don't want to go quite as far out with these, do I? <coughs> I just want to stay in a little bit. So I'm going to go four of them. I would probably do the UU matter setup, but I wouldn't want to do a quarry. Because. I don't know these things. Uh, I don't want to be a contributor to the overall lag on the server that way. I contribute enough with the inefficiency of my automations. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure why my house on the server has. I think it's got the most lag anywhere <coughs> outside of spawn. That's because there was some kind of bug that uh, the spawn zones were just getting a lot of lag. Which probably didn't help we were in a redwood forest. Apparently those cause lag too. <coughs> we might not get one of those on the server. Which would really bite because I happen to... I had really like redwood wood. It's also really efficient. You get a lot of stuff. So there's our... There's the grid we're going to build on. <clears throat> now it looks big, don't it? I'll just light this up a bit more. Because I don't feel like having creepers come in and knock my structure down. <coughs> the creepers probably work for Greenpeace then. Well, I don't think they work for PETA. I don't think there's uh, people for the ethical treatment of mobs. If they were, they'd be out boy uh, boycotting all the mob farmers. 
do you think? We're all good there? Up. Yep, and we're good. And then on top of this, we're going to lay down <coughs> a mixture of iron blocks, iron scaffold, uh, and steel. Along with a few other things. The uh, general layout as it stands would be a derrick that rises out of the land here. We have a drill floor. It'll be a derrick that rises up out of it. I'm going to use a bunch of the. Uh, really? Not those. Anyway, engines are run out here. <coughs> Got a bunch of yellow metal posts for safety rails and stuff. We're also going to go through a bunch of copper blocks uh, because we want some stuff that looks kind of like rusty metal and to uh, create a bit more contrast this uh, this one's project is going to be a lot of, a lot of gray uh, yellows, oranges, and reds uh, probably way more yellow than the other two yellow is going to be our main color uh, it's going to help it'll contrast with should make a nice contrast with the blue of the ocean We got some zikorite lights in there. Uh, it turns out that if you surround a, a light block, <coughs> a light generating block like zikorium, with uh, with micro blocks, it doesn't stop the light. So you can literally bury a light generating block inside of something and still have it generate light, which is great. That means you won't have as many visible lights scattered all over the structure. Like I don't want I don't want torches everywhere. It's supposed to be a, a nice technological structure. We want cage lamps. We use some zikorite lights for indirect. Uh, we're gonna shut that off. Uh, the only torches I really intend to have will be redstone torches, mostly as safety lights. They don't they don't shed enough light to actually chase mobs away. But what they do is they create just little pinpoints of lights here and there. Uh, so I want to use things like this, the signals, uh, which means I have to learn how to make them. <laughs> um, <coughs> so railcraft stuff, and if you wire them up, they'll tell you whether or not there's something coming or weird things like that. If you hook them up to nothing, they just blink red, and not really fast, right? But they blink red, and it is an actual lighting effect. So we can have uh, we can have it on some of the upper tops for uh, <coughs> you know making sure planes don't fly into our into our derrick. We can have them on some of the bottoms for people coming in on boats, right? I need to <coughs> stop coughing. We're going to add a bit more uh, decoration of the bottom of all this. Let's turn my engine back on again. Try to crap out within the middle of the ocean. Because guys like this, they'll connect to the top. And they give it... No, not like that. They give us stuff like this. Which is a really nice... Uh, add something to the bottom of the block. Just leave him there. That actually doesn't look too bad now that I think about it. <coughs> right? This adds that there's some more structure there. Uh, this is also going to need, and my engine's going to run out here any second. Put land. Put on that guy. Uh, we're also going to need an area for lifeboats. We don't want a Piper Alpha happening here. <coughs> We can use a bunch more of the stuff with a crane, lift up the supply boats. Uh, we'll need living quarters, which I'm probably going to put over in this corner. Because if I kidnap enough if I kidnap enough villagers, I'll transplant them here, and this will count as a village. Uh, which would be cool. Right? If I'm doing some trading, I just pop over here. 
That means I can have... I got blacksmiths for uh, running a tool crib. The uh, librarian guys can be the, uh, the company man. Butchers to run the galley. An awful lot of farmers to basically just count as, as floor hands. Uh, you know, worms. All the other various trades. Uh, I don't know if I want to... Well, if I just take up a breeding cell, they'll just make a whole bunch of them, right? And I'll get whatever I get, and they'll run around here. <clears throat> and I'll have someone to visit if I feel a little bored. But as it stands, I'm already at a half hour. I don't want to waste too much more of your time. But this is going to take a lot of episodes to build. Which is great. Gives me a lot of stuff to do. I do like big builds. I'll take a break from hearing every now and then. I do need to go to the Twilight Forest and soon. i got to get me an uncrafting table because uh, getting an uncrafting table is a much easier way to get things like uh, taking apart uh, logic matrix controllers for dark iron. I know it's kind of cheaty. It's a duplication bug. But, um... Yeah... There's the adventure involved in going to get it. Right? There's all the other neat things you find there. I do want to kid kidnap some animals while I'm there. I want to need a, I need a squirrel for my park. I might bring in <coughs> a couple of deer, maybe some birds, things like that. Just to liven the place up, right? Like the one problem I have with a single player world is it does get kind of lonely. Right? I'm the only one here. So, we'll drag some wildlife in. But, I'll save that for next time. And we'll do a whole bunch more work on this thing. And I'll see you later.